So a lot of times, especially with the sports department, they're kind of in the corner. No one really knows where they are. No one's really paying attention to them. They're not participating. And it's really a shame because sports content tends to get twice the engagement on Facebook as other types of posts. Why? Because people like to have an opinion about sports and they like to share it. So when you put posts out like this, then you're going to have an opportunity to get people to comment on both sides. That team sucks, that team's great, who's going to win, whatever. It gets a lot of commenting going and it's a great way to make sure that your post content is diverse. So don't let the sports folks live in a bubble and not, you know, not participate in this because lots of times they'll have local sporting events, great pictures, great stuff for Facebook. So make sure you're including them. Yes, um, would you encourage a separate sports page for your sports department or would you use it all on your main page? It really depends on the market, I think. Some markets can really support that because there's so much content that you would like overwhelm your main news page, but some markets not so much. So I know that's not a great answer, but I think you really have to think critically about how important sports is in your market, you know, how much content you have, and I'm talking good content. Don't just throw a bunch of scores out there. But like, if you have really good content and a really um, passionate sports following, then there may be space for that type of page. But sometimes, no, you don't want to just put it out there and segment your audience for no reason. Um, and then weather as well. So weather content works really great on social media. Again, it's something that touches everyone's lives. The same reason why weather is important to you on the broadcast and the web, it should be important to you in social media as well. So make sure that you're um, working with the weather department to put out critical pieces of weather, interesting facts. This is a great way to, to you know, draw uh, viewers to the broadcast as well because you can give tidbits and say, oh, we've got you know, the latest radar, uh, what, uh, tropical storm coordinates coming up at five, whatever. So I mean, there's a great way that you can really use this to your advantage as well. All right, so the next thing